Referring to the South, where do you remember? In my view, I recollect to ancient province because I was born and grown up in this place, a rich piece of land at the headwaters of the Hau River. There are four ethnic groups living there. The Gun people, Chinese people, Yam and Khmer ethnic. Decades ago, the Gun people suffered a lot when they had to go through a war backed by the Pom Pot. It's my pleasure to introduce a historic massacre in Bayuk Tao, Jitom district. It was the genocide that happened in 1978. According to China's support, the Khmer Rouge has repeatedly attacked the border of the southwest of Vietnam and not only slaughtering ordinary people but also raiding economy along the border. On April 18, 1978, the Pompot army flooded the Bayou Commune. Many people ran to find a hiding place, but were also brutally massacred by the Khmer Rouge. Pompot massacred more than 3,000 people in this war. Only three persons survived after the massacre. That's a terrible experience, a nightmare to the locals. It was not until January 7, 1979 that the Vietnamese army entered Phnom Penh to gain control, causing the Khmer Rouge to withdraw to the west of Cambodia. Currently, at Philae and Tambu Pagodas, there are still bloodstains. It can be seen that Pong Pong was so brutal that people's blood was all over the walls. And nearby the Tambu Pagoda, a crate was built up to store the bones of the victims. Human skeletons, the bones of legs and arms, were brought into a separate area, kept in a class cabinet. When tourists visit this place, they are very mournful and emotional. They will light an incense stick for the victims. In addition, there is a museum are displaying their weapons when massacred in Bajuk Tao. Over the past decade, Anzheng has changed in much better direction than before. Let's meet the teacher of history at Wang Katan Secondary School. The brotherhood between Khmer and Gun is more cohesive because not one wants war to happen, especially in their homeland. Therefore, the economy is also more developed. Especially in education, we have got considerable developments. Through this video, I convey the message that we should thank the soldiers who sacrificed their life for our homeland's peace and we should give hand to make our province more beautiful and developed. Anxang will be forever in my heart.